All right, today's problem solving question is this. We're looking at divisibility rules and you guys are going to do an investigation. So what are you going to need to do? The first thing you'll need to do in your exercise book is to draw a table that looks something like this one here, okay? You want the numbers or the digits two through to 10, okay? And then you want a space next to them. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the divisibility rule for each number. So I've done the first one for you. So if we look at the number two, we know that any number that is even can be divided by two, okay? So let's consider that for a second. Let's say I've got, let's say 28. We can divide 28 by two. Let's say 126, we can divide that by two. Let's say, 106,392, I can divide that by two. So we know that any even number that I have is divisible by two. If a number is odd though, let's say I've got 27, okay, that means that I can't divide 27 by two, okay? But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a prime number either because I can also divide 27 by three, okay? Now there is a rule that you can use to work out quickly whether or not you can divide a number by three. I want you to investigate that and see if you can find the rules for all of our digits here. Mr. Sendon is going to jump on the screen to give you the solutions a little bit later on, but press pause now and see if you can find those rules. Okay guys, so we're getting into our divisibility rules, all right? So we're not gonna to spend too much time on this, but I wanna go through the rules for each of these numbers. So basically two I talked about in the introduction. So any number that is an even number, you can always divide it by two. When we've got three here though, we've got a different rule, and that rule, hopefully you've found it, is if I sum the digits, okay? So if I add the digits together, so here I've got one, two, and three, so let's sum them together. So one plus two is three, and then plus three is six. So that gives me six. Now, if I can divide this number here by three, okay, that means that this number here is divisible by three. So if I was to then divide this by three, I could go three goes into one zero, goes into 12 four times, and then once into three. So I know that that number is divisible evenly, by three, let's jump on to four. So four, for four, you look at the last two digits of the number, okay? And I find four and eight to be quite silly rules because you're looking at even numbers. And if we're dealing with large numbers, you, you look at them and you go, oh, well, that's an even number. So just divide it by two, do it quickly. But there are rules for four and eight. The rule for four is if the last two digits are divisible by four, Okay, that means the whole number is divisible by four. So here I can see that yes, four does go evenly into 44, 11 times, which means that I could divide this whole thing by four. I'm not going to do it now because we're gonna move on. Five, simple one, this is one that you should probably already know, but the divisibility rule for five is if it ends in a zero or a five, that means that the number is divisible by five, okay? It's pretty simple. Six, another easy one, okay? If a number is divisible by six, the only thing that it needs to do is to pass these two divisibility tests. So if you can divide it by two and three, that means you can also divide it by six. Simple rule. Seven, seven's an interesting one. I'm interested to know your answers for seven and what you got, okay? because there really isn't a rule. There's a couple out there. So if you've got one, please bring it back and share it with your teacher, okay, and go through it, all right? But at the moment, I'm gonna leave that blank, okay? Because seven, we've got plenty of different options here that we can divide numbers by, so we're not gonna worry about it. Eight, okay? Eight, like I said with four, you know, if you've got a big even number, just divide it by two, just divide it by two. This number here, I also know that I could divide that by five because it ends in a zero, or I could divide it by 10 because it ends in a zero, okay? But there is a rule for eight, and that rule for eight is if the last three digits, okay, are divisible by eight, if I can divide those last three digits by eight, 
it means that the whole number is divisible by eight. So you, you really would only use it if your number is, um, is, is longer than three digits, okay? Nine is a really handy one, okay? It's one of my go-to divisibility rules. And the rule for this is you add the digits, one plus two is three, three plus five is eight, plus one gives me nine, okay? If you can sum the digits and then divide this number by nine, it means that this number here can be divided by nine, okay? So nine goes into 12 one time with three left over. Nine goes into 35 three times. I'm gonna go with three with eight left over, I think. Yes, I'm correct. And then nine goes into 81 nine times. So our answer there is 139. Okay, now here, 10, the easiest of them all. Your number has to end in a zero, okay? If it ends in a zero, then you're all good. My go-to ones that I always use all the time are two, okay, a three, a five, nine, and 10. I don't really use four, six, seven, or eight, okay? You may be different. You may, you may think six is a great one to use because I just need those two to work for me, okay? That's divisibility rules. Good luck. Hope you got it correct.